Hello and welcome to this calc tutorial. In this case, we're going to see some of the features of the graph menu. So look, in this exercise for the IB, it says, given the function of f, such as f of x equals x to the power 3 minus 3x three plus a half, find the roots and the coordinates of the maximum and the minimum. So how do we do it with the calculator? Very easy. Go to menu number 5, for, for in this calculator for graph, go to the menu for graphs, now we're going to put the function inside, we only need to put the formula, so x to the power of 3 minus 3x plus a half, use this little button to tell the calculator that it's a fraction, ok, execute, and then we draw it with f6, draw it, perfect, beautiful polynomial. Now, find the roots and the maximum and minimum, ok, that's easy. Look, we have this little button here, gsolve, you see it? gsolve here in yellow, this f5. If you press there, you have a lot of features that you can do with functions. For example, this first thing here, find the roots. So we're going to put here to find the roots. There will be x equals minus 1.81, and with this, we go to the next one. That will be 0 0.168 and 1.6417. So, that's our roots, so we're going to write that down and we will have the roots. Negative 1.81, uh, the other one would be 0 0.168, 0 0.168, or the other root would be here, 1.64. We want to round it up to three significant figures, 1.64. Okay, done. Now, find the coordinates of the maximum and the minimum of the, function, of the function. That is, this little place in here, this is the local minimum, and this is the local maximum. So let's find it. Again, with gsolve, here you see we have root, we have max, we have mean, we have y-intercept. So here, maximum. So with that, F2, we find the maximum. That will be x equals negative 1 when y equals 2.5. So that is the coordinates of the maximum point. My negative 1, 2.5. Now the minimum. The minimum, that's easy. 2 with g solve. Now minimum with this f3. Minimum. This little here, this little one here is the local minimum. That will be x equals 1 as y equals negative 1.5, so x equals 1 and negative 1.5, that's the minimum and the maximum and the minimum of the function, done, excellent. Now, second part, it says, given y equals x to the power 3 minus 3x plus y plus uh, 1 half, find the y when x equals negative 3, find the x if y equals 0 0.7, so we're going to go back a little bit to draw it. We have our function again, and it says find y. Look at that, this is the same formula, right? x to the power 3 minus 3x plus half. x to the power 3 minus 3x plus half. The same formula. Now it's asking for the y when x equals negative 3. That's easy to do with the gsolve. gsolve, and here we have the uh, this f6 for more options, and here we have y call and x call. This is used to find the x and the y. Look. Find y when x equals negative 3. So here we're going to use the y call. y call. x equals x equals negative 3. So x equals negative 3. Done. Okay, negative 3, y equals 17.5. So y equals 17.5. Now it says here find the x if y equals 0 0.7. Find the x. So g solve. More options. x call now. x call given the y that is 0 0.7, 0 0.7 the y, that leaves us with a value for x of negative 1.6977, be sure to round it up to three significant figures, so that would be negative 1.70, so x equals negative 1.70, done. Done for this part. Now the last thing that we are going to do, look, find the point of intersection between the graphs of y equals a half of x squared minus 2x minus 1, and y equals x to the power 3 minus 3x plus a half. 
check that this one is the one that we have already plotted. Look, is the one that we have already plotted. X to the power 3 minus 3x plus a half. X to the power 3 minus 3x plus a half. And we only need to plot this one and find the, y, the, the point of intersection. So look, a half of x squared, so one, let's use this little bottle for the, for the half, one half of x squared minus 2x, so minus 2x minus 1. Excellent, excellent. And the other one is the one that we have already plotted before. So execute, draw. Now we have the two functions. Look, this is the, the parabola. This is this function. And this is a third degree polynomial. That is this one. So now we must find the, y the, the, the point of intersection. That will be that little point in there. So we go to G solve our friend G solve and this one is the ISCT that, is, that goes for intersection so we press there intersection look this little point x equals negative 1.253 and y equals 2.29151 so that is the point of intersection there right you see it there below the, the labels you see it below the labels okay so there will be x equals negative 1.25 and 2.29 so, point of intersection. Section, that would be, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> 1.25, so that would be 1.25, and the one would be, let's try dissolve intersection, 1.29, so 2 point, sorry, y equals 2.29, 2.29. 2.29 okay closing brackets and it's done okay bye bye done